This is a response to a customer question and uh, with a bit of digging and some help from our friends at GTAC, uh, we've got uh, one answer that people might be interested in. So the question was, is that, you know, is there any way to swap out backgrounds um, once you're already in a draft, uh, you know, how would that normally be done? And, and basically, as you know, within a solid edge draft, once it's created, the background is actually within the file. You can go to view and toggle on background, and then you can see your backgrounds. So once that file is saved, uh, it's independent of the template, and there's no way to you know, rapidly swap out that background uh, outside of the ones that you already have in there unless you actually go into the background file or the background page and modify it or do a copy paste. So here's an alternate method that will allow you to drive your background from a central location uh, in Solid Edge. So here I am in my background uh, of my A sheet and what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to select uh, everything except for my property text in here and delete it. And, and a good way to do that is just to turn on my smart select and then click on uh, something and then you can see that you can select um, similar things, similar elements or things of the same color. So in this case I want to select everything that's the same color and then just hit delete so I'm left with just my property text. Now as of that property text, I'm just going to group that, and um, you know I can't remember where the group command is, so I want to use Command Finder. This is a good reminder for everybody: you shouldn't spend more than five seconds in Solid Edge looking for a command because you can just type it in here, and then these results. If you mouse over it, it'll show you where it is on the toolbar, and if you click on it, it'll start the command for you. So I'm in the group command. I'll call this uh, property text. Okay, so I've grouped those together. Now, what I can do um, is I, I, I can use a command called insert object, and it's right here on the sketch bar. Uh, and again, if you can't find it, use com command finder. But what this is going to allow me to do is it's going to let me browse to another file and insert it into this background page. And what I've already got here is I've got a draft set up as a seed file, and it's got a background on it. So if I select that with the insert object command and hit OK. It's going to allow me to paste that in my draft. So I'll drop it in there and then if I need to reposition my property text I can just click on them and drag them into place. That's why I group them together. So with that now set in as my background, if we go into back onto my working sheet you can see that we have this new background. It's got my company logo on it um, but my property text is still re uh, retained. So the reason that we did that is that now if I want I can go and open up that seed file. I've got it here in my recent documents. And any changes I make to the seed file, for example, if I want to grab and move that logo, and then let's jump back to my um, other drawing. Just use the uh, control tab. That's a way to sort of toggle back between open files and solid edge. And you can see that the changes I made in that seed file have been reflected in here because we have an image of that as the background. So where this becomes handy is that I can use this single file to drive the background in any number of solid edge uh, files if I, if I set this up ahead of time. So you know the other thing we can do is uh, you see I've got my A sheet here. I've also got a blue A sheet um, and I'll click on that and see I've got now blue text and uh, lines and borders and a different logo. But having swapped that out if we jump back into my working sheet you see that that's now changed in the background. So I've got a very rapid way to toggle um, swap backgrounds in and out and this will do this to any file where we've used this insert object command. You know similarly uh, if I wanted a completely different background I could go back and do a re insert object command again and browse to a different file. So that's just another way to control your backgrounds within Solid Edge.